Welcome back everyone to another video and in this one we'll be taking a look at another of the Android x86 builds but this time it's a bit different. Imagine if you can install the Android operating system on your Linux PC as an app and as a standalone OS. Now this initiative was taken by the developers at Android x86 and what they came around was with a Android build that can be installed as an application and as and the same build and the same installation uh, then also can be used as a standalone uh, OS. So in this video I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all go ahead to the Android x86 download page and make sure you are at Android x86 6.0. So yes this is available only in the Marshmallow builds currently and the the one uh, the revision is R3. So make sure you are at this page now depending upon whether you have a 32 bit or a 64 bit system select either of the one files with dot rpm at the end so the x86 is for x86 64 is for 64 bit and i686 is for a 32 bit and uh, yes these are rpm files but uh, now we move on to the release notes again will be linked down in the description these release notes also tell you how to install them on Debian based devices like Ubuntu, Linux, Mint and Debian. This is using a program called Alien. Now Alien is a program that sort of allows you to install RPM files uh, on um, Ubuntu or Debian based machines and also allows you to uh, at times convert them into a uh, dot deb so we will be using alien today to directly install uh, the files onto our ubuntu machine now i have tried it with uh, fedora based machines with this command right here and it works perfectly fine so here in the download section we can see our uh, android uh, x86 has downloaded with a dot rpm extension and simply what we have to do is first of all go ahead and install alien so that would be sudo apt get install alien give it what it needs and that is your password wait for a few seconds and you should be done with that so once the app alien application has been installed Change the directory to your downloads folder which would probably be default if you have set another default downloads folder go there so cd downloads and here simply enter sudo alien uh, dash ci and then the name of the file that you have downloaded and uh, or just simply do as i am doing copy and paste it from the uh, website so press enter and within a few seconds your application should be installed all right so android has been installed and the one thing that i noticed is that it takes a lot of time on debian based systems uh, my dual core uh, uh, my pentium dual core laptop which is running fedora actually did pretty faster uh, so i guess the process of alien converting the rpm file into a installable dpkg uh, or a dot dev file and then installing it does take a lot of time all right so uh, i have shown it to you working uh, on how to install it on ubuntu now i really wanted to do this and show you how to install it on fedora or any other operating system that actually uses rpm uh, for package management so since this is a default uh, rpm installation it so it should be pretty simple so what we are going to do is as you can see I'm running Fedora 25 again change the directory to our downloads folder. So what we have to do is simply type sudo rpm ivh and then the file name and after that simply press enter give it what it wants and that is the password and it will take only a few seconds unlike on Ubuntu where it almost took uh, 10 to 15 minutes to compile the whole thing into a Debian package and then install it so it's almost done and there it is so it actually took very less time compared to Debian and now we can simply run it using uemu and the good thing is 
using this sudo qemo dash android command since it is still running on qemo i can add my own parameters for example on this machine i don't have as much ram uh, as i had on the other one so install instead of the default 4 gigabytes i can actually go ahead and give only 1.5 gigabytes of ram to this virtual machine and it will start booting up it will take some time this is not the fastest machine that i have but slow and steady you can see that it has on already started to boot all right so it has completed booting up and for now i will just skip the uh, installation process and just select the language and wait for it to move forward okay now so we are at the home screen so let's go ahead and make a few changes on the home screen that we can see easily reflected so i'm going to put both of these icons in a folder go ahead and add a few more icons in the folder let's go ahead with youtube and then with play store uh, just drag and drop and let's also go ahead with contacts which is already there so i don't know why okay so let's just place it there and add a few widgets including an analog clock and a digital clock So there we have an analog clock and a digital clock and then go ahead and change the wallpaper. Okay, so uh, we have an animated wallpaper. We have a few folders and we have a few widgets on our home screen. Now this was Android running as an app. And as you can see here are the, here is my main Fedora OS. And this is just running in a separate window as an app using uh, hardware virtualization uh, via QEMO and KVM. Now to simply power it off, issue the power off command uh, in the terminal uh, behind it where we started with the uh, whole QEMO. It should be shut down. Now let's finally go ahead and reboot our system and see uh, if Android shows up in the uh, dual boot menu. Alright, so as you can see we have uh, Android x86 and uh, another debug mode show up on our multi boot option. So, Android x86, let's go ahead and fire that up. And it should be a lot, lot quicker this time since it is directly running as a standalone o OS and there's not much in terms of overhead and it is not being virtualized. So, let's just go ahead and see how this goes and if our settings stay as it is. All right, we are back. Our wallpaper is where we left it. Our widgets is where we left it. Our icons are where we left it. So not a big loss. And of course, everything works as expected. So this was it running Android as an app and as a OS with a single install with a shared installed that shares everything what you do on your main system or uh, while running it as an app on Linux and uh, while running it as a standalone OS. So thank you so much for watching this video. A huge shout out for the developers who came up with this awesome idea. Uh, and thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.